All right, folks, welcome back to this edition of the warm-up on 97.3 ESPN. I'm Rich Quinones. We'll switch gears a little bit, talk a little boxing. You know, we love to do our weekly boxing segment. And uh, I'll tell you, talk about many interesting cards coming up in the next several weeks. There is a huge card, I think on paper, a really interesting card, because you don't know what direction it can go, especially in the heavyweight division. And, of course, former light heavyweight champ, the Southpaw, uh, Antonio Tarver, joins us for a couple minutes. Get to set to take on Steve Cunningham, August 14th, at the Prudential Center, Newark, New Jersey. PBC on Spike TV, and uh, I think this is a fight where the winner is certainly going to separate themselves, and the loser might have to go back to the drawing board. Antonio, always good to catch up. How are things, my friend? Oh, man, we're doing really well. We've put on the finishing touches to a great training camp. Uh, really excited about August 14th on Spike TV. Can't wait, man. PBC in full effect. It's the new era in boxing, and I'm just glad an old man can uh, ride this little way with the young stars right now. So I'm excited about August 14th. Well, let's, let's get into a couple of things because you've been relatively quiet which bothers me a little bit because typically <laughs> we know you like to talk. Now, li- listen, I, I, full disclosure, I was on the press conference, the conference call, uh, for a couple moments, and then I had to get off to get on air, but I know there were a lot of words exchanged. I went back and listened to it between you and Steve Cunningham, and look, I know you guys are both prideful, feisty fighters. Did he miss? interpret what you were saying about the struggles in life inside and outside the ring and I, I don't think you would go that route and be disrespectful and take what he's going through with his daughter as uh you know not something that's not major is that something that was blown out of proportion i mean i pretty i, I strictly said that to him but i mean it, it's just it's a lot of things going on in his mind right now man it's, it's the pressure of august 14th he knows who's He's fighting. It's nothing like anybody else he's ever faced. So, and like you said, the loser going to have to really assess his career and you know where he's at. You know what I mean? And um, you know, like I said, man, I'm, I'm on a mission, man. I, I didn't come this far just to come this far. You know, um, I feel as strongly as I did the you know years leading up sure. to the Roy Jones fight. Yeah. When I tried to tell the world where I was at, where I was at in my career, and and what I was about to accomplish. I feel as strongly as I do right now. It's like this, it's reincarnated for me. It's like we, we, we're going through this whole movie all over again, and people fail to recognize what they're seeing. I mean, man, I, I can't wait to August 14th, man. I, I just know that I'm coming there with a, a focus like none other. You know, I, I understand that this is my, uh, you know, launching pad. Right. Because whatever happens August, August 14th, you know, they're going to, judge me and they're going to see where i'm at in the boxing game and and the statement i want to make it to the world is that man i can beat any person anybody on any any given night you, and that's what i want to show the world on august 14th that's including klitschko and including deontay wilder it's my mission to become the heavyweight champion it's my destiny to become the heavyweight champion this is just a small piece of the puzzle i'm walking through my destiny i didn't go through the, the three years I had to go through after that suspension in 18 months and everything I had to go through, I didn't go through that just to come here and, and have a fight in, in, in New, New Jersey. I came here to make a statement that I'm back, and I'm back in a big way. I'm putting the whole boxing world on notice that I'm the next heavyweight champion. Do, do you Period. think? Do you think? And let, let that digest. <laughs> I'm the next heavyweight champion. It ain't nothing standing in my way. Do you think when Nothing. you look at this, and you, you mentioned yourself by your own admission, we go back testing positive for the banned substance and such back in 2012, and I know that was tough because after the fact, it's harder to get fights. Now, I give you credit because when the California State Athletic Commission upheld the suspension, you were okay with it. You know, a lot of people thought maybe... Uh, no, I wasn't okay with well, it. You well, you thought, well, no, 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 you thought... I wasn't okay You thought, that. well, hold on a I second. And these guys, uh, you know... Guys that have got caught. No, 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 no. That's you, and, ho- you know, man. I lost my livelihood. You said I you were okay. You were okay. Job. You were okay with the NBC, fact. Let me finish, Antonio. NBC had chose me to be the Olympic commentator. They took that opportunity from me, man. And, and you know, like I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. They ain't never. They never gonna put an asterisk by my career. Then let me let they me rephrase it. Money. You were hoping yeah. for a reduction and maybe a chance to fight yeah, in six months. Okay, so then I'll rephrase yeah, it. I'll sure. rephrase it. That's fair. I'll rephrase it. Be that as it may, you're right. A lot of people will look at some of the inconsistency, the time out of the ring, and 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 that happens sometimes. I mean, because 
if, if something happens or if you get the raw end uh, of the deal, so be it. Now, you come back inactive. You beat Mike Shepard, and, and that was your only fight in the year. And again, to your tr- credit. No, you, I, I knocked out Jonathan Banks. Well, I'm going to. I'm going to. trainer. You, you came. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to finish with that, Antonio. Let me, let me finish with this. You're, you're, you came back, and that was an impressive win over Banks, who was a former WBO and NABO champ. I guess, you know, a guy that beat Seth Mitchell. And I, I think that's when people probably took this comeback, if you will, a little more serious. And I think that's why you sound a lot. You sound very fired up because I think you think you're being disrespected going into this fight. Now, you know, Steve. Man, I'm. It ain't, it ain't, I'm not saying I'm being disrespectful. I'm saying that, listen, I, I didn't, my struggles wasn't in vain. That's a fair and point. The only thing going to satisfy me is the heavyweight championship. That's all I'm saying. I'm on a mission. I ain't got nothing to do with nobody. It's just me. It's just me. What, what, what? And, and that heavyweight champion, winning the heavyweight champion and surpassing George Foreman and separating myself from all the rest will be my, will be my last be the last feather in my cap. What? That's for me. I'm doing this for me. What are the adjustments? That's what the game owed me. That's what I'm going to take. What? What are take that from Bot? What? What are the, What's the game I'm plan take here? Heavyweight championship. What? Again, a couple that's minutes with do. a couple minutes with the outspoken, always energetic and passionate Antonio Tarver as he gets set for Steve Cunningham August 14th, saying he's had problems with South Paul. Has only fought a couple in his career. I know when you look at yourself, you can cre- uh, create the different uh, the distance uh, when you look. I don't think Steve Cunningham's a southpaw. I'm a southpaw. I said, yeah, you're a southpaw. You're a southpaw. southpaw. You, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. He's, I'm saying Steve Cunningham hasn't had too many fights against southpaws. He's fought and uh, oh, Amir. Sorry, I thought you said no. It's all right. Southpaw. It's all right. It's all right, Antonio. He fought Amir Mansoor. Uh, gave him a little bit of trouble. He fought for uh, Hernandez for an IBF title. Didn't really give him a lot of trouble. Now you look at yourself again. You know, this is a situation where are you going to try to get in, get out, fight in the pocket, establish that jab early? What, what, give us a little bit of a blueprint how to beat Steve Cunningham without giving the fight plan away. I'm going to be me, man. I'm going to be the best Antonio Tarver that I can be right now. And, you know, I, I really don't know. I'm not, I mean, I'm, I'm in great shape. I haven't even watched one tape of Steve Cunningham. I'm not worried about Steve Cunningham. I'm coming to the fight, and I'm bringing the best Antonio Tarver. And whatever... Goes on from 1 to 12, I'm going to figure it out. I, I ain't really studying Steve Cunningham. I ain't studying none of them, really. I, I, I'm being the best shape I can be in. My only focus is me. When I get in the ring, I know how to fight. I know how to fight. That ain't, that ain't nothing I got to think about. All I got to do is get in shape. Everything else going to come. You, you mentioned... Cl- Everything else going to come. You mentioned... I, you box, you hit and don't get hit. And I'm going to figure it out. If he throwing his hands, I'm going to have, a, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna an answer for that. And that's all it is. I mean, I ain't going to put no more on me. He he got two hands. He can't throw but one at a time. I, that's how I minimize all of them. You, you he mentioned... He ain't going to kick me. <laughs> he ain't going to throw both of them at one. He, he can't throw but one at a time, and I'm going to see it all coming. And I'm going to work. I'm going to dig. And I'm going to put these hands on his ass like he ain't never had them on him before. And if he make it to 12 round, bless him. What, what's your but thought? I'm looking to make a statement with Steve Cunningham. Let's, let's, I'm, let, I'm, I'm putting the whole world on notice that I'm here. Okay. And I ain't here by accident. It ain't no mistake that I'm 46 years old and I can still do it at this level. So get ready for the biggest story in boxing because I'm finna capture the heavyweight championship. Deontay Wilder can't learn enough about boxing. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, and, cut, let me and, stop and you with. Can't beat me with no one, two. Let me interject with Wilder. Let me, let me interject. That's it. So. That's my mission. I done told the world. <laughs> now I'm finna talk the talk and walk the walk. Well, let's, I want to see who's going to stop me. Let's talk about Deontay Wilder, vulnerable champion in your eyes. And I, I just told you what I felt. It is, that ain't got nothing to do with him or nobody else. I'm just at a different level. That's how I feel. Because ain't nobody going to tell it for me. I got to tell the world who I am. Because they got their eyes closed. always have had their eyes closed on me. I'm just I'm just 20 years in the game, five championships later, and still doing it. So I got one more I got one more thing to prove to the boxing world, and that's it. And when I get that heavyweight title, I'm riding off in the sunset. But they'll never be able to doubt my greatness again. And I said greatness because you ain't you you don't win five titles by by accident. You don't knock out Roy Jones by accident. You don't beat his ass again and give him a shot at it again. Man, like like Hopkins wasn't man enough to give me a rematch. 
Come on, man. Yeah, but you can't. I mean, and hold I on a second, though. Let, hold I, hold on. Chad Dawson. Hold so on. But I'm, let's. I'm here. Yeah, but let's be fair. Let uh, let's. I mean, you got to. B Hop Hopkins has been doing his thing too. Man, B Hop, man, I'm gonna tell you right now, man. Come on, man. They give B Hop all the credit in the world for beating me, and everybody act like they could, they didn't see that I was just a shell of my a shell of myself. And that man, I that, I didn't even have to fight that man. That man was a super super middleweight. I gave him a shot at the title, and he didn't even honor it with a rematch. Come on, man. That, listen, that's a I fair... I don't want to hear nothing about Hold on, that's a fair... Hold on a second, Andy. He's a Hall of Fame... If he was man enough, he would have fought me. He would have fought me in a rematch. All right, well, 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 I'll meet you halfway. Uh, we'll, we'll, hold on, let me explain it to you. He lost twice to Jermaine Taylor. I know. And I gave him a shot at the light heavyweight title. How you not honor that with a rematch? Yeah, but you can also... How you ar- not honor that with a rematch? But you can argue that... Boy Jones down... Ten years later, how you do that in boxing? They still think he on my level. That's why I'm finna win the heavyweight title. All right, I got I, I, I gotta get the picture clearly to the world. Okay, and we're gonna see this picture clearly. We're gonna see it August fourteenth. But me. hold on a second, because it's uh, us talking over they each don't other. See me, they never uh, have. Antonio, us talking over each other is, is not gonna be good for radio. I'm I like, saying. I like, I like this banter. I enjoy the banter. But let's be honest. In boxing, you're absolutely right. Some guys they don't want to defend the title. They want to. They'll. they'll automatically they'll get stripped of the belt because they don't want some rematches. That's the sport that we cover and we live in and we breathe. So that's never going to change. When you give a man a shot at the title that's not even in your weight class, I didn't even have to fight Hopkins. Do you not understand that? I understand that. I gave that man a lifeline. I gave him a lifeline. A lifeline. Call a friend. Lifeline. <laughs> Come on, man. What? That's the difference. <laughs> He wasn't in my weight class. If he was a mandatory challenger, I can see. <laughs> why are you so? See. Why are you so fired up today? By all the fourteen, that's why I'm fired up. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm getting ready to show out. I'm getting ready to show up and show out. The magic man is back in a big way. <laughs> that's what it is, bro. See, I'm ready. Antonio, I can talk to you all day. You know that. Let's talk. <laughs> I ain't got number time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ask you. I actually get it raw and uncut, though. No, nah, no. <laughs> listen, get it raw and uncut. listen. No I ask you. I ask you two more before I let you get out of here. Two more. Um, do, do you put any stock into rankings at all? I mean, yeah, they have a place in boxing. I'm not going to say boxing is watered down. You know who the superstars is in the game. You know who the fighters is. And just because a guy getting promoted by networks, don't mean they the goods. I mean, all these guys are, are handed the crown before they even earn the crown. You understand? me? So, I mean, I, I mean, look, I'm a throwback, though. All I know is how to get mine but with my left hand and right. I don't need no promoter, no manager, none of that. I'm telling you why I'm on this phone. I'm the next heavyweight champion. What happens? All right, I'm going I'm, I'm to. I want. I want. I want. I want. Now, look, there's always. There's a flip side to the coin. As I. I, I we got to start wrapping it up. What if. By some chance, you get outboxed and you lose against Cunningham. What's next for Tarver? You know what? Then, you know what? I eat my words then. I eat my words. You come you back on? <laughs> no, I'll eat my words. <laughs> and I'm man enough to do that. I, I'll eat my words. All right. Hey, that, that, you know what? That's, that's what it is. But guess what? Go ahead. I'm going to talk the talk and I'm going to walk the walk. Somebody got to shut me up. I, I, I ain't gonna stop telling the world until somebody beat me. I, <laughs> I, I, I couldn't do it today, so it, you can you can cross me off the list, my friend. <laughs> Listen, the, <laughs> the best of luck, August fourteenth. You know it's always good talking some boxing with you. I'm sure Don't we'll talk. It. Don't miss it. We won't miss Don't it. Miss That's it. PBC do on Spike. Do. Don't miss it. August fourteenth <laughs> is going down. You got it, man. Is back. You got it, Magic Man. Be well, Antonio.